Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. I'm here with Ben O'Malley from BAM's East Region Public Finance Group for a BAM Credit Insights video about the Greater Texoma Utility Authority's upcoming sale of approximately $209 million of contract revenue bonds, which will finance improvements to the water and wastewater systems in the city of Sherman, Texas, which is an emerging hub for semiconductor manufacturing located about 65 miles north of Dallas. The bonds will be rated AA with a stable outlook by S&P Global Ratings due to Build America Mutual's guarantee and carry an underlying rating of single A, also from S&P. Ben, thanks for being here today. Yep, thank you, Mike. This is a pretty significant investment in a fast-growing community, so let's start with the basics. What will the bonds finance, and how will they be repaid? Sure, so this is, uh, as you mentioned, $208 million issued uh, by the Greater Texoma Utility Authority on behalf of the city of Sherman, Texas. Um, the Greater Texoma Utility Authority is an entity that assists municipalities around Lake Texoma um, with their water and sewer projects, um, you know, since those entities receive their water from Lake Texoma. Um, in this case, the bonds will finance uh, primarily the construction of a wastewater treatment plant and the rehabilitation of an existing water treatment plant. Um, these projects are being done, uh, again, as you mentioned, to support uh, the growth of the city of Sherman, primarily with respect to uh, several new manufacturing facilities for semiconductors. Um, that are being done by Texas Instruments. Um, the construction of those facilities will be done you know, between now and the beginning of their operation in 2025, 2026. Um, obviously, with the construction of those projects, um, the capacity of the water and sewer um, systems within the city will need to expand, uh, hence the new facilities. Um, the bonds will be paid by contract payments by the city to the authority. Um, those payments uh, will be will originate from uh, water and sewer fees from the end users of the system within the city. So some, some great points there with the, the GTUA is really kind of emblematic of the regional cooperation and collaboration on water issues that we see in a lot of places in Texas. And then of course the growth of the semiconductor industry is really tied back to the CHIPS Act last year, which is uh, part of kind of an industrial policy to encourage semiconductor manufacturing uh, here in the U.S. So as we go beyond those issues, what were the key metrics you looked at as you started into the uh, credit analysis? Certainly. So given the scale uh, of this bond issue and kind of the structure, there were several kind of key factors and components uh, when we analyzed uh, this transaction um, and the credit. First, we, we wanted to look at not just this series of bonds, we wanted to look at the entire you know, so-called capital improvement plan, which includes not only this issuance, uh, but several hundred uh, more millions of dollars of bonds that are planned to be issued via the authority on behalf of the city between now and 2028. All of those bond issuances will again support these kind of new manufacturing facilities and the expected residential growth that's going to be, you know, done in conjunction uh, with the presence of these new entities. Um, so we wanted to review that that plan, make sure it was feasible. Um, in relation to that, we reviewed the city's pro forma financial projections that were prepared by the city's rate consultants and presented to city council. Um, we wanted to review those financial projections, one, to make sure that you know, they were representing fairly um, kind of the expectations here, which is mainly that they're going to have immense customer-based growth um, on the industrial side. Um, and part of that is, you know, planned rate increases for those commercial industrial users over the next five years. Um, and we also looked at, you know, given the rate increases for uh, the customers of the system, uh, we wanted to make sure that for residential users of the, uh, of the system, you know, at the end of the day, are rates going to remain affordable? And so how do you measure affordability? That's a concept we talk a lot on, on utility deals anytime we underwrite them here at BAM. What, what is the metric? Sure, so at, at BAM, I think, you know, when we're doing affordability analysis uh, for our water sewer credits, the main kind of key metric we look at is the annual water sewer bill of kind of an average residential household, if you will, and kind of how that measures uh, against the median household income or the MHI of the entity in which you are looking at. Um, so in this case, the city of Sherman, we know that right now, total you know, water and sewer bills for an average residential household, uh, they're very low. They're below state averages uh, for Texas. Um, and furthermore, you know, at the end of these planned rate increases, so around 2027, 2028, um, those rates are going to remain affordable. You know, they're going to remain below state averages in this instance. 
Very good. Well, thanks for these insights, Ben. Thanks for uh, the overview of the project. For more information uh, for viewers at home, there's a preliminary official statement available for this transaction. There's also a BAM credit profile available on our website. And for more information about BAM or our analysis of this credit, please email us at creditinsights at buildamerica.com. Thanks for watching.